This is Chris from Budget Ways. Today I'm going to walk you through how to use our budget worksheet. Um, this is a budget worksheet that I made quite a few years ago, but I've, I keep repurposing it for other things. And uh, now I've added it to uh, our Budget Ways site, and this can be used as a personal or family budget. And uh, you can download it at uh, budgetways.com. Anyway, let me just walk through a few points about this. Um, at the top here there's a summary that this will be more relevant after you start filling out information but what this does is it, it lets you come up with a, a budget for basically for a single month um, and you know since not all expenses occur each month some are annual you want to put those um, expenses in an annual amount and have it calculate to a monthly budget um, so that everything is allocated out evenly throughout the year so let's start with uh, looking at this first section here is the income and the whole uh, kind of format of this is that the yellow cells are the cells that needed to be input so say you're we'll put in your salary say your salary is sixty thousand dollars you enter that in here and see how it gives you your five thousand dollars a month um, that comes out there and uh, also if your spouse makes um, income let's say that he or she you put that in there any other types of income that you might be getting if you're retired or getting social security or disability um, if you have real estate property and you're making uh, rent from that um, you can include all that stuff on here then we come down to the next section which is the, ne the necessary expenses or non-discretionary expenses um, the way I have this set up is you put in your your salary because you pretty easily know that and then you would come in and take out your payroll taxes and other income deductions from your salary in this case you know let's assume it's quite a bit because uh, let's say that they take out something like two thousand no, dollars thousand dollars per person so um, then you come down here and put in things like your rent or mortgage say your mortgage is two thousand dollars a month your property taxes say they're six thousand dollars a year go in here you do uh, estimates for your water garbage or you use your actual expenses um, so telephone 50 health insurance 800 a month, dental care, 50 a month, um, if you have life insurance, home repairs, you'd probably make a budget, a small budget for that. If we write an article about that, it's usually 1 to 3%. Um, so, fill in a few more things here, 100 and, well, that would probably be 20 bucks a month. Gas and electric, 300. Okay. The next category is called discretionary expenses. And that's things like uh, credit cards, auto loans. Um, assuming that you didn't need that new car, you could probably have gotten a cheaper one, right? Or take public transportation if you need to or something. So, what classify auto as discretionary expense? Let's say you have two cars and your payments are $450 each. You're paying nine hundred dollars for that gas. This can be if you drive a lot, three hundred bucks a month. Say you have one hundred and twenty dollars in cable. Your mobile phone for your family could be as much as two hundred and twenty-five or more. I know ours is like one hundred and eighty just for two of us. It's ridiculous. Um, you're dining out each month. Whatever that works out to be. I'm just making numbers up here. Say you take a three thousand dollar vacation once a year, spread that out. Um, clothing, two fifty a month. Oh, don't forget the internet access. And uh, so that comes up with your expenses, and then you have your investment spending. Say uh, this is stuff that's taken out of your. Um, 
taken out of your salary also, like 401k. Say you put 10% in, that would be um, with the $10,000 a month in income, that would be $1,000 a month. And Alright, so let's, obviously you'd fill in the rest of the columns here, but now we can go back up to the top here. And you can see that on a monthly basis, your total income is $10,000. Your necessary expenses are $7,720. Discretionary, um, discretionary income that you have left is $2,280. That's basically taking your total income minus the necessary expenses. And then out of that $2,280, you put $1,000 into your investments. So that's $1,000 off there, and that leaves you with $1,280. And this is what you have for discretionary um, income. And then in this case, our discretionary spending, we had $2,590. So in this case, you're actually over budget and you're going in debt $1,300 a month. Um, obviously, I made, you know, these numbers aren't real. Let's say you just have one car payment and you only really spend $150 dining out, $200 on clothing. Or, of course, you could say, I've been driving less. I just saved $50 on gas this month. Uh, these are expenses that you want to go through and eliminate if you can or reduce them as much as you can. And that's what our site is all about, budgetways.com. We, uh, we offer articles on how to target each one of these expenses one by one and how to get your best rates. You can see a few changes, and you're almost back into... Uh, back in the black on your budget there. Um, let's see, let's look at our discretionary. Probably payroll taxes were maybe a little high there. And your health care. You might that might be covered by work, it might be zero for you. So now all of a sudden look at that, you're you're in the black with this. Um, so a few other things to look at is your percentages. You can see over here that, you know, if you're if your necessary expenses are a very high percent of your income, like this, um, you might want to start considering ways to reduce your necessary expenses. That would be ways to things to do, like um, you know, if you're living in an apartment, move to a cheaper apartment, or uh, buy a smaller home, or rent out one of your rooms in your house, or get a roommate for your uh, apartment or house. Um, of course, you could always do things too, like move closer to work, where you can walk to work, get rid of one of your cars, and uh, and downgrade your house a little bit so your costs are a little bit more in line. Anything that you can do to lower any of these expenses will help your bottom line, and you can put more. Whatever this number is, that, that much can go back into your savings. You can deposit it into your stock account each month, um, and it is going to help you... Uh, with your budget and with your personal finances. That is our summary on how to uh, use our budgeting worksheet. Uh, we hope you visit our site often and uh, um, you can leave a comment on our uh, blog um, hopefully if you like this or if you'd like to see some changes. Thank you.